Welcome to Under the Plum Bob Podcast, the tip, the podcast about all things related to The Sims. We have worked <laughs> real world by talking about our made up ones. Each episode, we'll focus on one of the several rotating themes, including, well, you know what? Today we're just going to do a mod. It's mod part two. It's Jen. I'm sick. <laughs> and I'm talking out my ass. I'm here with. Who are you? Hi. Hey guys, it's Vanity. And it's Ellie. Ooh, that was nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow. 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 High five, wow. tingling girl magic. Yeah. With a little sprinkle of salt, white chocolate. <laughs> Why my dog give me like a side eye right now? <laughs> what? I'm white you chocolate. Be like, yeah, you gotta be. Like, if, if it's team black girl magic, then you can be. You know, you can back to black girl magic with a little bit of. Boom. I'm good in the winter time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves the white chocolate mocha, right? <laughs> you ain't wrong. Oh, Shiza. <laughs> And this is how this is gonna start, guys. This is this is it. This is this is how you get it. Oh, Y'all, I had two more things at lunch, so let's do this. Okay, so we are doing a deep indigo part two, and I am just throwing this out here, um, like we did last time. We are not going into conflicts unless it's like a super super conflict. We're not going into requirements. You're going to see these when you go to download their mods. Um, so we're just going to go over the mods themselves. There's just a few left here. We're going over like family mods and like stuff that just like everyday play type stuff. There's like a whole shit ton more. Um, and you can download this over on a Deep Indigo's Patreon um, we'll put it in the show links, but I know you're going to be on mobile probably listening to this. So just go to Patreon and look up a deep indigo um, and have fun. Go f- crazy. Subscribe <laughs> to them. Subscribe to us. By the way, so, if you missed part one, go back and listen to part one because you kind of explain a little bit more because we're just going to roll right into like yes, more yes. different like pieces of it. So like mm, take, a, take a beat, press pause, rewind. Go up a few episodes. Listen to uh, I want my kid to go to juvie. My team, I think. <laughs> it was yeah, oh, yeah, our teen. I want our team to go to juvie. Oh, I did God. download that mod, and I did try and test it out. I haven't sent my kid to juvie yet, but he's getting there. He's getting there. I tried. I tried to like. I've got Max Villarreal. He's like the leader of like the, the what are they called? It's like you got the paragons and then you got the renegades, 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 renegades. 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 Yeah, that's what I think of every time I read that is the renegade. Same. <laughs> um, <laughs> and like I try, I made him run away from his house, and that nothing happened. Um, I had his brother go to the geek fest. And he hacked a computer, and he got in trouble. But Max didn't get in trouble for running away. So who? F- I don't know what I'm doing with things. So I'm sure it's 100 percent user error. <sighs> so my kid to go to juvie, man. All right. Well, go back, listen to that. Figure out where that statement comes from, and then I'm not just like a weird person who wants their kid to go to juvie. I promise. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, we. Well, we don't, it, under the bum bar here, we don't condone your teenagers going to juvie. Your Sims teenagers can go to juvie and you can have fun with that. You can kill mm-hmm. people on The Sims. Please don't don't do it in real life. life. Yes. We don't condone that. Sorry, don't murder. Yeah. Moving on. Um, eyeball care. Okay. So we did eye care. Um, we did dental care last time. We've got eye care here. So all Sims can still rock fashion glasses, but now Sims can be diagnosed with eye issues and require eye care. Um, They can also get laser eye surgery, and this is designed to work for children through elders. Um, In the future, the um, Deep Indigo wants to do more in like a disability mod, but that's coming later. Um, 
but you can get vision insurance if at least one young adult through elder sim has a in the home has a job someone loses their job though the family loses their insurance and it can be regained again upon employment and then you get a 40 percent discount on eye exams and surgery Tell me that a deep indigo is American about telling me a deep indigo is American. And I was to say, that's a little too close to home. A little too okay, close so to home. So hard. Yes, yes, I wish that my okay. vision insurance was so, that good. What? Your sim is assigned a random hidden trait that determines their eyesight? Stupid. What? A lot what of in the, your, what in the genetic lottery is this? So like a lot of a deep indigo's mods are like this, like the healthcare stuff in particular. I didn't download the dental mod, but the healthcare mod that it's in a couple here. Um, like you get random traits. Like if you're immune to what was one of mine earlier? One of mine earlier was like one of my sims in my house is like immune to. Uh, What's tuberculosis? And like tuberculosis immune, like high immune system, low immune system, stuff like that. So like, yeah, I think it's really cool. But like it doesn't eat your other traits away either. Okay. So that so your sim can have good eyesight or poor eyesight, but regardless. And it might like, deteriorate over time as they age, like everybody else does. You your T-Rex arms, because you can't, you can't read. Mm-hmm. Um, activities. Mm-hmm. Other reasons. <laughs> Act- activities such as computer, TV, phone, tablet, reading, and knitting use can, can contribute to deterioration of your vision. But you can get some vitamins, which it does not work in real life. Don't that think that happens in real life. life. Um... You can schedule an eye exam once every 21 days. The appointment will be pushed onto the sim after scheduling, but you can, de- you can decline to go immediately. They last for three days, but they do you schedule. So, like, if you schedule the appointment, like, okay, you want to go now? You're like, no, I was eating my cereal. I want to go in a minute. So then mm-hmm. you can wait. You have three, to, you have three sim yeah. games to go. At their initial optometrist appointment, they'll be assessed. Do they have an eye condition? And if they do, they'll say, like, you, your eyes are sucking. And yeah. then they'll, you'll get some corrective lenses. Or, which means that you can like say, I want glasses or I want contacts. Um, and then if you want glasses, you go to create a sim. If you choose contacts, you can still get glasses, but they won't be chosen to the visit. You have to like, go back. You can also have four eye conditions. But, you, but the eye conditions don't include pink eye, which is conjunctivitis, which is the inflammation of your conjunctiva. <laughs> um, those with Poor eyesight can be nearsighted or farsighted. There's various periods of dizziness, blurry vision, eye fatigue, and headache. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you become eligible for eye surgery, you have to have it in fucking two weeks. You have, you have two two weeks of the sim days to get it done. That's 14 sim days. You can, good God, you can re- <laughs> um, develop glaucoma and cataracts. Your sim can complain about poor eyesight. If they have it, and if they have it, and they and they wear their glasses, they can be teased or tease someone else about their glasses. What is this? Nineteen ninety eight? Come on now. Who you somebody got glasses? glasses. I don't know. Everybody has glasses now. I did not wear glasses actively until I was twenty five years old, and I needed them at ten because kids would make fun of me. And then, like, until I was, like, 25 years old and I had to just accept the fact that I can't see anymore, I didn't wear them because I was so self-conscious. So my sister, my sister did that because her vision wasn't as bad that she – wasn't as bad as mine. I didn't have a fucking choice. I couldn't see. Like, well, at, mine's not that bad. So I didn't have a choice. I had to wear my glasses. But this was in the 90s, y'all. So it was only, like, two style of glasses that they gave you, like – the circle whoop. or square, yeah. Or, yeah uh, circle or circle is rectangly, and they only came in like black or tortoise shell. Yep. My life was tragic. Okay. I um, had the tiny <laughs> little my gigantic ass face, and like people would make fun of me, and I'm like, I'm not wearing these anymore. Yeah, I had glasses when I was in the summer before fifth grade, and then that was fun. Right, I love that for me, and then. 
And then in seventh grade, your girl got braces. So I had glasses and braces. Oh. Puberty smacked me all up in the face. Yeah. Put that glow yeah. up. Put that glow no. up. You had straight teeth and still these glasses. <laughs> 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 now glasses are fashionable. So now you're just I fashionable. I, I know, right? And I, and I got my contacts. Because I, I didn't wear contacts. I just don't like it. It was just easier to put glasses on my face. So when I have to wear these, I went to the office. My friend was like, I just miss your glasses. And I was like, oh. Oh. Thanks. But I was able to see. Oh, call back. The next part is family therapy. <sighs> this one I've played with um actually yesterday I played with it my only complaint with this one and this is all I'll say is like there I get that you there's certain hours you can talk to a therapist between and I get that and that's realistic I, at least maybe this is could be user error so if you're listening and you want to correct me Deep Indigo, that is totally valid. But, like, when I play it, like, say, like, somebody dies. If I try to go to, like, there's one for grief counseling. If I try to go to the grief counseling, but my sim is not actively sad from the death. Like, you know how, like, your mood buffs are, like, you'll have all these mood buffs. And then, like, you'll have mood buffs for other emotions. Like, further okay, down. Yeah. the further down it is, like... You can't, I, like, if I'm happy because I did something at work and, but like, also I have one sad mood buff from somebody dying and this could be the Sims fault, not their fault. It could be a thing that's not like restricting, like it's restricting them. Like I can't go to grief therapy because I'm currently happy. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, so you can't go to therapy unless you're. Uh, actively unhappy right you'd have to be sad to go to gri- so you can go to therapy still but you couldn't go to like the specialized like grief therapy mm-hmm. unless you were yeah. actively sad from the mood lit yeah gotcha okay and that's very so- well it could be user error and it could be a restriction that mac ea put in they can't get around. So you can do family therapy, grief counseling, new family interactions. What is that? Bringing home a child or something? Couples yeah. counseling, support Probably, group, yeah. behavior and mood therapy. I'm just chuckling at behavior and mood therapy because all I can think of is the team putting that class, that paper bag over their head. <laughs> and then running to, the, running to their room and the parents like, you're going to counseling, Steve. I know. I'm going to I have a pimple. And they go in the closet and cry. All I can think of is this whole scenario is happening in my head and I'm kind of in love with it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and other I asked was like what new family interactions was and the next paragraph says what they are. (laughs) 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 There are several new interactions for unmarried, married, and divorced couples as well as siblings, parents, children, and all family members. They concern like a number of topics like work or school, grades, mm-hmm. social status, finances, bills, illnesses, diagnoses or disorders, behaviors, relationships, death, and everyone's favorite, addiction. Yep. Um, these interactions can have an impact on therapy sessions, particularly home-based. Ooh, there's home-based therapy? Yeah, you can have a therapist yeah. come, and come and knock on my door. Therapize my family. I'm gonna tell you and you and you that you need me. Da, 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 da. She's a therapist, like, <laughs> anywho. So you have your initial consultation, initial, initial consultation, initial <laughs> consultation. <laughs> that did not want to come out of my mouth. I was having a moment. Um, it's been a long day. You've worked all right. In order to access therapy, your sim have to use the phone. Just no, that doesn't just like scream it into the ether. I need therapy, and she just shows up with Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> so the it, you can any any household member from a child up can call for initial consultation. So you can have your fucking 
elementary school kid just called like, mm, you know what? I need to talk about this. Look how abusive my parents are. Baby That's Alexander so calling. I think my family needs therapy. <laughs> Boy, you need therapy. Um, so this will only be available when there's a negative sentiment or a extremely poor relationship with another member of the family. Or it's going or if you're going through a phase or a mood swing. That tells you paper bag. A family member has died, or your sibling's been diagnosed with uh, the following base mental drug issues or healthcare redux issues anxiety, postpartum depression, SAD, seasonal affective disorder, ADHD, cancer, or everyone's favorite addiction. addiction. <laughs> <laughs> We're not oh, making fun of any addictions at all whatsoever. It's a very all. serious product. <laughs> Addiction is a very serious and serious thing, but um, I just, yeah. uh, between base mental and one of my kids to go to juvie and having a meth ring, I just, addiction. Um, <laughs> so uh, they can go by themselves. Again, a little Alexander Goff, elementary school Alexander Goff is going to therapy by. He's like, fuck you guys. I'm breaking generational curses. Or with one other one family member. After agreeing to work with the therapist, they come back for individual or group sessions. Um, all the, the group sessions are there to help with addiction. Everybody's Everybody favorite thing. Addiction. Oh, addiction. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, love it. Um, Look, I'm going to drama affect some of us in uh, very interesting ways. Hey, um, and I'm a swath of childhood trauma, so. Yeah! I, I can yeah. laugh about things because I went through them. I <laughs> can laugh about it because, you know, if not, what else do you do? Exactly. <laughs> uh, so they have couples issues like money, sex. Drugs wasn't on there, but I feel like that should be on there. Life no, changes, sure. children or opposing traits. Ooh, I'm mm. a clean freak. You are slob. Why did we get married? Because we thought opposites attract. They don't. I thought I could change you. No. Mm. So behavioral issues, evilness, <laughs> lack of responsibility, or conflict resolution. I just feel like if your kid has the evil trait, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do with that? Like, you're kind of I fucked. know. Just kill him. Oh, <laughs> oh, God damn. Just take him out now. God damn. Kill him before he kills you. <laughs> <laughs> um, did everybody, anybody ever calculate how long a sim day is, like, huh. in, in, like, coordinates with, like, real day? Like, five sim days is how many real people days? Hmm. You don't? I don't. Jessica, Jess, do you do math? Who does math? <laughs> do any of us do math? Are we all just like math illiterate here? Mm, okay. mm. So one real minute equals one sim hour. So 24 yeah. real minutes is one sim day. So then they stay up for a really long time. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. And they still can't get shit done. It takes them forever to do anything. <laughs> Let me just throw a rant out here right now. So ever since I don't know if it was that pack or that update that came with the back, but ever since then, I swear to God, all they ever want to do is pee and sleep and eat. Which same, but like it is so like I feel like I don't get anything done anymore because all they want to do is pee, eat, and sleep. And like the babies, it's like the babies, even the infants, it's like. You can't, I don't feel like I'm teaching them anything because they're even worse that they need to pee. (laughs) (laughs) We want the babies to do more, then we're like, God damn it, they're doing more. They're doing, they're there, but they don't fuck it. You can't do shit because then it's like if they're up too long, it's like he's upset because he's up too long. And then if they're sad for too long, then 
when they age up, they get a tra- like not traumatized child. It's not what it says, but they get a moodlet that like they had a rough like infancy, and like they're gonna be more headstrong and rebellious now. I just want you to understand that I never asked for kid for baby to do anything more. I never <laughs> asked for this. this I am being punished because. You fuckers out there in the ether wanted children to do more. Why? They suck. This is my fault. This is 100% my fault. I just gotta complain about it. I just wanted the bubble baths to come back for the babies. I just thought that part was cute. The little changing table and where you put it on and a little interaction and the changing table and the baths. That's all I really wanted. I didn't need all this extra shit. Okay? I just don't like babies. You don't get the changing table unless you actually buy the pack, which is I'm mad about that. <laughs> I was so mad because I, the update, obviously that came before, right? Mm. So the free update, you get a bed and you get a bed and that's it. <laughs> um, And if you, I don't even know if that, I don't even know if like you can have the babies try food with, if you have the pack with, that comes with that high chair. Was that the growing up or parenthood? Yeah. I don't know if you have that and you don't have growing together. If you can make infants still sit in the chair to try their food, but you don't fucking get the changing table, which pissed me off. You can just put one fucking free changing table in. Oh, like seriously. I, it, ah, Okay. Nay, nay. Um, so we'll get to that in the review for that. Yes. Yeah. That so chew chewing that back on the track here. They have support groups um, where your sim can attend them. They can uh, do them by themselves or with their family. <laughs> they, support groups are not may or may not be as, as effective depending on the sim and their traits and the nature uh, nature of their issue. So the support groups are as followed. I'm gonna save the I'm gonna save the first one for last. Um, <laughs> The Village, a self-help support group for those with mental health issues and their families. That is very vague. That is very, very vague. general mental health issues, like, we don't, in general. Youth Group, a child and teen only support group for behavioral and emotional support. Caring for Caregivers, a caregiver and parent support group to vent and share tips and tricks. Good grief. A support group to help those who are grieving a loss in a celebratory, but respectful environment. What? What? Are we grieving a loss or are we having a party? Is this uh, the song by Bastille? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Was this inspired by Bastille? Tell us if you're listening. So, finally. More than addiction, more than addiction, more than it's addiction. An Sorry, on, it's an addiction support group for addicts <laughs> and their families. And the Plum Bob supports the support group. Hell yeah. Um, so, yeah. So there are no diagnoses or medications. Um, just so you know. Um, but it does, it does mesh well with the other, like, mods. You do like, the healthcare mod and base mental drugs. Apparently, in base mental, you, you can, can get lung cancer, it. which means I will never, oh, ever play that mod. Yep, you can. Yeah. Um, the ADHD, too, like, they they got Adderall. Um, yeah. Can you get addicted? Can you get addicted? Yes, you can. I, oh, I never tried that. I didn't get that far. I just had someone who legitimately also had ADHD and just took it to get their college work done. No, yeah. But then also if you don't have it and you start taking the the, the Adderall, it'll just, you'll get addicted to it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So you can go to rehab and, you know, get unaddicted to it. Yeah. Um. So they have a, if you have get to work, there's a whole health overhaul. Um, but if you don't have it, then you can do the health system mod instead. And they do the same thing, apparently. Oh, okay. yeah. It just doesn't require get to work. But, but I, played, 
So if you get to work, get this one. If you don't, get the other one. Yeah. I played this one. I was not as big of a fan of this one as I was the healthcare mod, which we'll talk about in a little next, actually. This one kind of just made it to me while playing along with the healthcare redux, so I don't legitimately know the difference. Like, you could, like, to me, this was just adding where you could go to the doctor for a rabbit hole for the get-to-work illnesses. Whereas the health redux, you get fucking everything in the world. Yeah, I mean, eh, well, so that's a pretty big overview then. I just feel like that's that, you know? Done. Yeah. You can, um, allergy. Mo- so it, you could do an allergy module. It either requires seasons or the bust the dust um, little like game pack. Is it a game pack mm-hmm. or is it like a thing, a stuff thingy? Bust the dust was a it's kit. A kit. A kit. Okay. Yeah, and then eco living, which was a pack. That was a game. Really pack, yeah. made me annoyed, and I'm. I have opinions. Um, so if you have those, then your sim can develop an allergy mm. um, in spring or summer, uh, being outdoors or in a dusty environment or being in an industrial environment. So you can get fucking factory factory lung or something, which is great. You can get an allergy <laughs> shot if you want to continue working in your factory while you have factory lung. Whatever. I'm just thinking of like freaking little chimney sweeps, like <laughs> chim 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 Apparently dying of the black death. I don't know. Oh my god. Um, your sim can get, still get sick, like so they would, and get to work. Um, you take vitamins. You can get. You can vaccinate yourself and your womb fruit. <laughs> your womb fruit. Yeah. So maybe you should do that in real mm-hmm. life and in the Sims. Please vaccinate kids. Get, get your fucking shots, you numb nuts. Anyway, Pretty much. Come on, you know. If, if you don't, don't come crying to me when you get fucking measles, and don't come near me when you have fucking measles either. Have yes. apples or the llama um, flu. Mm. Come over the here, llama just, flu. <laughs> <laughs> Coming over, breathing on me and giving me like fucking like monkey pox or something. I don't know. I don't want your shit. Okay, whatever your morph disease became because you didn't get your gosh darn vaccinations. No cow plant 19? Oh man. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Too fucking soon. Um, so when your sim gets sick, uh, there are stages. You can, the, and the buff will tell you like what you got and like how it is. If, it's, if the illness is non deadly, you know, you start out in the most severe stage. Like, if you got a cold, you're going to start out fucking miserable and stuffy. Um, and then progressively get better. However, comma, if your sim has a deadly disease, they will start out in the middlest, the mild, middlest, middlest stage, <laughs> the mildest <laughs> stage of the illness and get progressively worse. Looking at oh. you, tuberculosis. They're not, they're, you're all going to all die like Satine and Moulin Rouge of consumption over there. <laughs> <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> I've never seen it. My makeup is be flaking, but my smile stays on. And like, bitch, you are dying. Show <laughs> must go on. <laughs> yeah, because like she. First of all, first of all, tuberculosis is, is like contagious as fuck, and nobody else got it. Second of all, Doc Holliday made it through an entire movie and still didn't die of his tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> this died from diagnosis in the end. Like she made it like two weeks. <laughs> what kind of yeah. mutated French tuberculosis did she have? I have tuberculosis. no idea. French tuberculosis. Yeah, anyway. Was it tuberculosis they said, or was it just? Yeah. 
It's they call it consumption. Shade. That's the only thing I know about that movie is she dies from tuberculosis. Yeah, but they called it consumption back then because yeah, they didn't have big fancy words. Basically, the cough blood disease. <laughs> um. So anyway, as your sim gets better, you'll be you'll be notified of their progress. But if they get worse. Your sin will be urged to attend to their illness or die. Oh my um, God. Deadly, deadly illnesses last three days. You've got three days. Um, Non-deadly illnesses only last a one and a half days. So, yeah. There's a chance your deadly illness can improve on its own. That's a chance. Go to the fucking doctor, you dumb nut. Note that for NPCs, they won't die of their illness, this illness on their own. Um, they have to be played to die. Oh. Story of my life. That's Deadly no illnesses will result in your sim dying of their disease if they don't go to the doctor. So that mean like the little moodlet? You know how sometimes they have a little countdown of like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it has the countdown of how long you have this moodlet, so it's just gonna be like Yes. Or, it's gonna be like the, or it's gonna be like the pregnancy one, and then it's a, once it gets to it, it's gonna be question mark, question mark, question mark. You don't know if you're gonna die. Have so, you guys? Did you guys watch Hey Arnold? Yes. yes. Do you know the episode where, like, uh, I think it's like Ralphie says he's gonna beat up um, Arnold, and Helga kept calling him and saying, "Twenty three minutes to get to two." Oh yeah. Don't and she, <laughs> that's all you that's all you die. It's just this. So she go out. She would like go outside his house and like yell through his window because he stopped answering the phone. Till you die. <laughs> and she just kept going. She just kept going. <laughs> That was that show's a classic, and I was happy yeah. that Hulu. Um, but anyway, no, yeah. To answer your question, I'm almost certain that it does. I only had this for like maybe a week because, like, I just didn't like it as much as the next one. But like, I also there's a module you can install to not die. So where's mm-hmm. the fun in that? I, Let's roll the dice, bitches. Let's all die. I um hmm. for this this the healthcare one. I have that in, and like it'll say like for example, I had one where like they had a brain hemorrhage, and this is for the next one, not this one. Uh, aneurysm, and it's like you have a headache, and it's like okay, you have a headache. Then it's like the headache is so bad that you need to go to the hospital now. And then it's like, must go to the hospital in the next three days. And then if you don't go to the hospital, like... Worth it. And and it's like, okay. Your sim may still go to the hospital, if I'm not mistaken, but it's like, you. sorry, your sim didn't come to the hospital in time. They bled out. <laughs> So I wonder like, how this works with like sorry, we'll the try um, again. the extreme violence mod. You've been stabbed. You've been gut stabbed. You've been gut stabbed. You got three days you before just, you bleed out and go to the. You're bleeding. <laughs> you know, I don't you're think it does. Pile of blood. <laughs> I don't think it does. I think you just die because <laughs> I did that with. I did the extreme violence and I killed one of the werewolf. The werewolf girl killed the other person. Her person that was cheating on her, they killed them, like, they slashed them to death, and there was no option for him to go to the hospital when he got slashed by the werewolves. Okay. To badge them all to death. What so about you can ghost tre- is for that one? Just, <laughs> you can, uh, you can treat your illnesses, uh, with home remedies. I mean, sure, take some lemon ju- ginger tea and some orange juice and hope that your measles goes away. Just throw some essential oils on that bad boy. But the non-deadly ones have to run their course, like the viral shit, you know? You can also treat the symptoms of medication, but only if you have a symptom the medicine treats. So it won't decrease the length of your symptoms. Oh, no, it, it will decrease the length of your symptoms by 50%, but also block that symptom from repeating during the medicine's effective time period. So, like, if you had a stuffy nose, it'll stop it from happening and it'll stop it from, ha- from coming back. Um, oh, wow. You can go to the doctor. Um, after you've took, taken some Tylenol, you've got some sleep, you had some orange juice, your Sims like, bitch, 
I'm still coughing up blood. Um, <laughs> she goes to the doctor. Um, so deadly illnesses require your sim to visit the doctor, but for non-deadly illnesses, with the exception of itchy plum bob, which is you know you know the chicken pox, a visit the doctor is optional. Your sim will not your sim will get better not get better on their own. It'll only progressively get worse until they die if they have a deadly disease and they'll go to the doctor, <laughs> like we just covered. Also, there's an injury module um, where you're, they can injure themselves by exercising. Um, the children to elders. Your kid oh. can go ahead and just pull a groin oh. muscle. Great. Clumsy Sims, Sims of low fitness, and elders are the ones who are likely to hurt themselves. Yeah. Um, there's a serious chance. The chance your Sim can seriously injure themselves and require a trip to the sports injury center. They can then just see if they need a cast or surgery. Horse pe- pregnancy module. Um, they, can t- they can go to prenatal appointments. Um, get valuable advice about the pregnancy and get the gender revealed. Oh. Um, they also do a postpartum checkup after birth and experience postpartum pain because you want to keep it real fucking listic. Um, they can experience baby blues following the birth of a new baby. I don't like this no. called baby blues. Just call it what it is. It's not. It's not cutesy. Postpartum uh, depression. Yeah. Next is your favorite mod, healthcare redux. So literally almost everything that you just described is in a healthcare redux mod, but I think there's better. I think this is better because you get the immune systems. Um, There's more deadly diseases like tuberculosis and bacterial meningitis. Mm. Um, It says, fair warning, these diseases can cause a new death, death by disease, if not treated or immunized. Jesus Christ immunized against go to the <laughs> doctor that's in real life go to the fucking doctor if you feel really bad <laughs> legitimately or if you can. just spent a whole fucking week feeling really bad and went to the doctor after the week um please note malaria has no vaccine taking malaria pills or using the elixir are your only options fighting the disease <laughs> um fun yeah. times New infectious viral and bacterial disease, bacterial sinusitis, bronchitis only as a cold complication, a cold ear infection, toddlers only get the ear infection, gastroenteritis slash stomach flu, malaria and tonsillitis. I really thought Um, you said a cold ear infection. You know, like a cold like a cold ear infection. And I was like, what the yeah, fuck is a cold know. ear infection? Tod- toddlers can only get one cold ear. <laughs> dogs can get both. Like, you know how the dogs get the cold nose? The paws. The paws get cold. Nose gets hot. Gross. Um, I, I'm um, loving this uh, stomach flu. So your Sims just shitting and vomiting themselves all the time. Because that's fun. I haven't gotten that one yet. I had, uh, I had had cold several times um and uh i had a toddler get a viral and ear infection or jesus christ an ear infection once and cold ear. Like, yeah because it was cold so <laughs> <he got> cold. <laughs> i got a cold ear god damn it um, mom turn up the heat <laughs> Yeah, I got ear infection. I got cold ear infection. <gasps> cold ear infection. All right, Peem. Um, okay, so you can, you can have... <laughs> I'll never <laughs> three <laughs> three segue from that. You can have allergies um, to bees and pet dander and general slash seasonal allergies. And you can get allergy shots. It's real cool. Oh. Um, and then you can also get new injuries, so random childhood injuries. Hey, that was me. Mm-hmm. I was forever in a random childhood injury. Oh God! Look, it's my life. Okay, uh, sports <laughs> injuries. I also got a lot of those because my dad really wanted me to play sports, and every time I played a sport, a ball would hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it shit my tooth. Um, it uh. A racquetball ball cut my eyebrow. Um, and you know, you would anytime you get a blood, anytime you get like a wound on your face, it just bleeds like oh, it bleeds been more, murdered yeah. or something. Um, 
And I was at the Boys and Girls Club for that one. So people were like, oh, my God. I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, no, being child. Well, okay. Come on, guys. Get together. And my parents come. They're like, oh, it's fine. She's, she bleeds all the time. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she bleeds all the time. She's really, really clumsy. <laughs> Um, okay, so there are surgery required complications, like I guess injuries, like uh, appendicitis, tonsillectomy. Yeah. You can have medical emergencies, like a postpartum hemorrhage, a heart attack, an aneurysm, anaphylaxis from choking, or a bee sting allergy. You can get in a car accident. How the fuck do you get in a plane how? crash? I was wondering that too. I'm like, yeah. how the how does that work? Also, Where are you flying to? You maybe maybe you get maybe you get in a plane crash when you're flying to like Mount Cory 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 Kubu. Morimoto. Yeah, no, Morimoto. No, no, you know what it is? They've got a mod where you can world travel. Mm. Oh yeah. And in Thank that Nuptials mod, it has it where you can fly on a plane to your honeymoon. Um, oh, you wow. can go to your prenatal visits. Um, you can have pregnancy related complications that we're not going to go over just because I don't want to trigger people in case you've got those. You can get prenatal vitamins to help with your baby's development. Um, and then you can also, you know, have your C-section or regular labor induction and be, 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 be. Um, you can take vitamins like Flintstone kinds mm-hmm. for the toddlers and the children's and the teens and me. Because I like those vitamins. All the gummy vitamins still? <laughs> I love me a I good take, gummy vitamin still. I'm like, I'll take it. I take, gum, I take gummy vitamins anyway because the other ones that my stomach hurt. Um, That's facts. They can use them to treat, prevent, or cure ailments. Uh, that's not what I said. I, that was a mixture or something. My bad. You can use them to supplement your lifestyle and keep sickness at bay. Um, you can also do each injury and disease and condition has new treatments available that can treat, prevent, or cure them. Um, you can get them either the over the counter or via prescriptions given by the doctor. Oh, you can have all kinds of medications. Oh. Is there scissor? Cough syrup? Uh, not in here. There, uh, there is cough syrup. Um, there is, I think you can make scissor though in a uh, face mental. Mm-hmm. So you have cough syrup for coughs and sore throats, pain relievers for everybody, aspirin for arthritis, allergy meds uh, for animal dander, and then in general, um, eczema cream. Eczema? You got eczema? <laughs> what is that word? Anna? Anxiolite? Anxiolite? I don't know. Anxiety meds? Yeah. Anxiety meds. There you go. Pep up and be, pep up with me. It's in Balta time. Um, mm. EpiPen for your bee allergy, iron supplements, uh, vitamins, antibiotics, uh, antihypertensive prescriptions, prescription cough medicine. That must be the good stuff. Um, <laughs> an inhaler. I got that. An inhaler or prescription cough medicine? Both. Asthma. Um, okay, so viral diseases last for 36 hours, bacterial for 48, and deadly for 72. The stomach flu lasts for 24, so you don't shit yourself to death. Uh, medical emergencies last for 24 hours or less. All chronic conditions are always chronic unless cheated away. Um, minor injuries last for a day or less, and major injuries last up to two days. Every illness has their own stages. La la la. For viral, for I mean, basically, the illness, illnesses work like real people with illnesses. Viral Ill- illnesses, a shit you can do about it. When it's when it's coarse, hopefully you don't die. Bacterial Ill- illnesses, get some fucking antibiotics. Hope you get the right ones and you don't get MRSA. Um. Just <laughs> 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 like you said it. Hope you don't get MRSA. <laughs> <laughs> So basically everything from here on out it's the is same. what you went through with the mm-hmm. other mod. It's all the same, just like the diseases and stuff. And the insurance is like pretty, 
you have insurance. Um, it's insurance like division insurance. There's you have like, universal, yeah. basic, and then mm-hmm. premium insurance. And then you get special insurance if you work for the government. Cool. Like, yeah. Um, and then there's the preteen mod. Um, this really just gives your Sims like a preteen trait. Um, and then it makes them shorter and like, like shorter or like yeah, it shrinks shorter. them. <laughs> like, yeah like it really does it makes them a little bit shorter than teens and then like they you go through like the stuff you go through like being a preteen like um you're going you're starting your puberty so you got to put on like your body spray and your deodorant um you got like your crush um so yeah um it's pretty good oh then they have uh they have private schools that you can do yeah, I have set up an interview with the headmaster of this most prestigious private school. Basically just reliving the Sims 2 days where you have the headmaster mm-hmm. come over, you impress them, and then you get in or not. But if you have the education mod, you can also do a private school, and you just have to fill out forms and stuff. You don't have to do a headmaster. <laughs> There's also uh, summer camps. There's 11 camps for your kids to go to, which is awesome. I wanted to go to summer camp when I was a kid. Um, they last for five days, and it costs 350 for a day camp or 500 for an away camp. Sounds way cheaper than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, so they come back with new and improving skills every day that they go to camp to correspond to their camp. So they have academic Richmond's camp, so Smarty Pants Kid camp, art camp, Band camp, gymnastics camp, languages camp, leadership camp, space camp, sports camp, STEM camp, theater camp, and wilderness camp. So um, they can do all those, and it's fun. Um, camping. Camp. Camp on Awana. I didn't camp go to on camp because I was too scared to leave my house. I went to Girl Scout camp. I went to space camp, but it was a day camp. And I had to beg for that. That's cool. See, um, I always feel have... like those camps mm-hmm. are always like in TV. Like we're never in California like that. I <laughs> feel like I had to be on the East Coast for that shit. I was in the mid <laughs> mid coast. I don't know. Middle of this middle of the states. Land landlocked landlocked Larry over here. <laughs> um you can also, like, they have, a, I guess, script mods that do some tweaks for the different packs you might have. You can go for more fun peer rides. And then you also can do more locker notes for your Sims to in high school to help with their stuff. It's a high school year's tweaks, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, these are really cool. Um, and you can go prom dress shopping. That's and cool. um, you can have more youth and family activities. Um, you can, with toddlers nothing um, <laughs> children family activities you can do a pumpkin patch <laughs> you <can> do <laughs> toddlers nothing children mm, the oh, family wow. activities <laughs> the whole family have you ever been out with a toddler or a child there you go yeah, yeah that's about it yeah I don't want it for the family activities, um, the seasonal ones, you have to have seasons. Obs, duh. But if you, the ones that don't require seasons, you can you can do them. So pumpkin patch, obs, it's seasonal. Um, the, like, orchard patch, so I guess apple picking or something. Uh, water park, camping, beach, uh, carnival. So the orchard and the water park is all season. So, so far, the only ones that you can't do is camping um, and beach, so far. Um, Winterfest market, church services, prom and a school dance, haunted houses, uh, trick-or-treat, and egg hunts. So, there's that. Um, If anybody is left behind in a household leaves the lot or the player exits out of the game or goes to cast, the activity will ab- abruptly end. <laughs> I can just leave a kid at, the, at, at home. If a kid didn't want to go, fine. Well, no, like, for yourself. 
you got to all, what you have to do, what it's saying is like, if, for example, you can select who goes, but if you select like little Johnny and you don't make Johnny actually go, like you cancel Johnny, not you cancel him going, like it'll end. But if you don't select him to go, it doesn't matter. It'll still go on. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't just leave a kid at home? God damn! Uh, this is perhaps my favorite thing that I've ever seen. It's child labor. <laughs> yep. So... <laughs> The isolations that I have when I do this podcast. Oh, my kid to go to juvie. Addiction. Everyone's favorite thing. And then it's child labor. My favorite thing. Like, Let's get some job posting for some kids, guys. <laughs> Hi, kids. You're looking for ways to make some simoleons? Are you too young to get a regular job? Hmm. Kid Doodle Job Listings offers an opportunity for kids to find work in a safe way in their community. Sign up for Kid Doodle Job today. This sounds like where you would go to get bad touched. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like the name of that. That's a little <laughs> Kid Doodle. I'm here representing Kid Doodle Jobs. Come send your kid to work for an adult somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I promise everything is on the up and up. Is your kid too young to get a valid work permit to go work at a normal job? Bypass all those. Come sign up with Kid Doodle today. Yay! So, yay! This part is that these are the jobs the kids can have, okay? These are fucking children. This are not, this isn't enough. Lemonade stand, dog walking, bake sales, mowing lawns, babysitting, Garage sales, computer repair, phone repair. Have you seen kids these days, though? I could see a kid doing that nowadays. I don't well, trust these little demons with anything. I'm not going to kid to go walk my dog or babysit my other child. What am going to do? Put two eight-year-olds together? Also, you well, guys watch each other? Who's, who's, are you running your own garage sale? Am I helping? Is the kid helping me run my garage sale? Where is my computer located? Is it in my home? Is a kid coming into my home to? You guys watch Bob's Burgers. Mm-hmm. Where they had the girl. The girl was like younger than Tina, and they made her babysit all three of them. And she's like, <laughs> "Why can't I babysit everybody? I'm like older than this girl." And they're like, "Nobody trusts you, Tina." <laughs> I just, I'm really confuddled. I was just like, I don't like yeah. it. Whiny yeah. Brit did a whole video on like kids making money. Like there's a lot, there's like pageants too. You can put your kid in pageants and stuff. I don't know just, whose mod that is, but there's a pageant mod. It just gets more and more bad Ooh. touch as you keep talking about it. <laughs> as as uh, the lovely Queens and Queens podcast would say, Babies don't need jobs. <laughs> no, they really don't. Especially when um, they already want to put them in drama camp and like scouts after school. Like, where where is this kid going to have to find time to do his homework and also be at your job? Yeah. Figure, Figure it out. <laughs> Critical thinking skills. Go, kid. Problem solving. Time management. <laughs> Fucking climb the corporate ladder. Mom, I'm seven. Climb that ladder. I don't know why. In two days, you're going to age up to be a teen. Mm. That's where um, the 20 years of experience at 21 comes from. <laughs> you got to have 20 years of experience. But uh, like, this is an entry-level job. Here you go. Here you go. For 39 um, millions an hour. <laughs> Finally, you can have like pet careers. Um, they're rabbit holes. They're inspired by Sims 2 pet careers. So like your dogs have the ability to be promoted based on learning commands. Um, they are security, service, or show business for your... I don't know if your cat could be a show business. I mean, a security cat, but I'm here for it. Um, so there's that. Oh, no, I lied. Cats not be promoted and thus are ba- paid base salary levels of the highest career level of that industry since they cannot learn commands. 
fucking speciest. Yeah, I was gonna say that seems awful some type of discrimination. I was about yep. to say it. <laughs> So, that being said, we finally made it through this uh, Indigo Adipa Go Go's. A deep, a deep Indigo. Why did I make that name so hard Indigo to say? Go-Go. <laughs> Indigo Go Indigo Adipa Go Go. A deep Indigo. A deep Indigo. Okay. Um, hey, Jen, there's a note. Yeah. From me to me. <laughs> um, we have a what just happened that I apologize, Chelsea. I've forgotten to read that last time. And then everybody who's recorded since then, I'm like, hey, can you read that? And they're like, yeah, sure. Just put it in our script. And I'm like, got it. And then it's like, "Mm, I didn't do that. They didn't read it. Oopsie daisies. Um, So, excuse me. Chelsea here, um, one of our listeners sent this in. Um, It says, my sim is cursed. Um, I'm on Gen 4 of my Sims family and was playing the daughter, Molly. Her parents didn't have enough space for all her teenage hormones in their tiny home. So she moved in with her boyfriend, Gus, and his sister and single mom. They took her in and was all happy and wonderful. One big happy family. Molly even helped Gus's mom find a husband. This girl's like out here matchmaking. Um, What in the Olsen twins? Find my dad and find me a dad or find my billboard dad. That's oh, what billboard dad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> find me a dad. <laughs> uh, fast forward. Molly and Gus are young adults now. Move into a mansion. Shout out Motherload. And living their successful freelance painter and food critic lives. Gus decides to finally, finally pop the question. And everybody gets together at the beautiful venue to see the couple wed. While Molly and Gus are exchanging vows, his mom fucking dies. Oh, God. It's like the cake baker all over again. It's like the fucking cake baker all over again. Just steal my (laughs) moment. Steal my fucking moment. Mom. Um, Not a great way to start out a marriage, but um, now this may seem like a bad sign, but it only gets worse. Over the next sim week or so, they host a bunch of parties go to a bunch of festivals, and are living their lives to the fullest. But Molly is getting close to full adulthood, and she wants to have a bunch of kids. So it's time to baby start baby making. Next thing you know, she's in pre- Next thing you know, she's pregnant with twins. Pregnancy goes well. I built an adorable nursery, and now Molly's in labor. But wait! There's more. <laughs> Literally, while she is in labor at home, babies come... Any second, Gus gets a phone call that his stepdad died. This guy can not catch a break, I swear. But it doesn't end there. See? Wait, there's more. Um, a second set of twins later and all four kids grow up, play my next gen, and move out to the city. Built a colorful, fun apartment for him. And right when I'm about to call everyone over to his housewarming, Gus himself dies. <laughs> Never got the chance to see his son's very own place. Poor Gus, R.I.P. Oh, I thought for a second she was talking about that Gus was going to die while she was in labor, and I was like, that God damn it! I was like, damn. <laughs> well, oh my God, oh poor Gus, and poor Gus. Just to give a little shout out here, real quick, um, Kev the Builder, friend of the podcast, is doing a great Simish Bake Off. Um, Jess was in there, but she got eliminated over sugar cookies this week. Which is ironic because Jess is like always sending us really beautiful sugar cookies. I know. But you know what? Um, go to his Twitch channel on Saturdays from 3 to 6 Central Standard Time. I'm not doing the math. Go to Google and look it up in your local time. Um, his Twitch is twitch.tv slash Kev the Builder. Um, Stassi J. Our other friend on the podcast is there, and there's a lot of other amazing Zimmers from this community there. And there's um, a redemption yeah. round, so Jess could come back. Yes. Root her on, bitches. We love her. We love you, Jess. Um, so, it's time for us to go. Um, this is our fourth recording. Um, <laughs> is real fun. Catch us on social media at Plum Bob Cask on Instagram and Twitter. Plum Bob Podcast on Reddit, under the Plum Bob Podcast on Facebook and Tumblr. Go to our website, Plum Bob Podcast. Nope. 
plumbobcast.com. Or if you want to email us, under the plumbobpodcast at gmail. If you want some cool merch, go to bit.ly forward slash plumbobmerch. You can join our Patreon as well as a Deep Indigo's Patreon. We have a Broke Newbie tier for a dollar. You get a Discord. And if you pay three, you get an extra. You get the Discord plus a monthly bonus episode. You can subscribe, rate, and review on Apple, Stitcher, TuneIn, Spotify, Google Play, Pandora. If you don't see our podcast somewhere, tell us. Um, Make sure when you are on Apple that you rate us and review and put words in your review so that like it helps us get visible. But honestly, the best way for you to talk to for you to like. For us to get more visible and more listeners is you be like, tell your other sim friends that yeah. we're here. Spread, yeah. it. Word of ma- spread it around. Word of mouth is the spread best. Spread it like tuberculosis. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Okay. <laughs> no, we're all going to meet you there. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so hilarious. Um, oh, thank you, everyone, for listening and for supporting us with everything. Thank you, Jen, for mm-hmm. putting this script yes, together. Jen, and you are amazing. And you are powering through this. Thank you. Thank you, Whiny Brit, for showing me every single one of these mods, if you are listening. Um, <laughs> that's where I got almost every mod that I've downloaded, and that's where I found this creator from, is Whiny Brit over on YouTube. She was nice. in the episode well look at that um so i guess it's time to go back to the world world i'm going to go and do a, a echelon ride and then i'm going to eat a bean burrito i'm gonna go die <laughs> no feel better you, you do have consumption i do, do you- <laughs> my ear is very cold too mm, cold air and consumption i get you every time oh god <laughs> Just make sure you don't have that itchy plum bob now. Can't, mm, can't have yes, that itchy yes, plum bob. Yes. No, no itchy plum bobs. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. Bye. Well, okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.